Yeah, I'm 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 secure enough in not having to practice my clapping. Right. What do you mean? Right. right, don't act like you don't. I hear I hear you at night. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm doing I, something else. I hear you clapping. Uh, you don't even know what I'm clapping. <laughs> what, do you, what do you? Why would you be clapping? <laughs> Is it like when you're praying really hard, you gotta get into it? You, you gotta, gotta you properly you gotta like, clap. yourself. You, you gotta know. clap real hard first. Yeah. <laughs> just get just so God can hear you. Just so up. he makes sure, you know, that you know that he knows that you know <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> what what it is and how it's going. He's starting that shit up. Yeah. Well, let's just say uh, uh I'm I'm on my knees in some way. Yeah. Am and, I right? And, and there's a fucking priest. I'm a, and he's and he's and he's and he's praying with me because he's a really helpful member of the community. Yep. And we appreciate him. Yep. Yeah. In my room. Oh shit! It's the wrong wheel. <laughs> Sorry, I, I set up like a, a special wheel. Uh, well, I didn't set it up. It's just the automatic basic under one under quarantine. Yeah. Uh, for new listeners, r- uh, well, run, get out of here. R- run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, uh, every week we do a, a wheel of news. Uh, and so to avoid Sean seeing anything that will be on the Wheel of News because he doesn't know what on it, what's on it, what I do, uh, I set up a fake one. And by fake one, I mean the one that just automatically opens when you open the website Wheel Decider. That's Shout the, out Wheel Decider. That's, that's the one. Is that, what is this, like a default one? Yeah, this is a default one. It just gives you, oh, does it actually give you subjects and stuff though? Yeah. When, when do they, I don't actually watch the visual one too often. When do they actually get to see the wheel? Is it there the whole time? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, Just when we start doing it. Well, uh, for the past two, three episodes now, I've uh, made some presets. Yeah. So that, because uh, obviously I have to cut out the background. So yeah. it's just a wheel. And then I have the big arrow. Yeah. But I've designed it now so like it gracefully falls in and it gracefully Ooh. disappears. And there's like confetti on the sides for when it like changes, the, like when it shows the answer. And most of the time I cue it to when you actually read it out rather than when it lands on it because there's often like a delay. Yeah. Uh, so that, you know, it seems like it's coming all together at once. Yeah. And sometimes you say it, and then you say it again, and they're like, I don't know how to edit this together. <laughs> and I hate your yeah. fucking guts for it. Yeah. What, I'm kind of curious about this one. What is it? What to do under quarantine? Give me a yeah. spin. All right. It True. says hone a new skill as the first one. Oh, wait. Do you want to use the uh, the keyboard? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm like really cool. I'm what, a gamer. I bought what, a keyboard. What is, the, what is the command? It is shift and five. I believe it's on the small keypad. Um, how do I have to... No, I, oh, okay, fuck, I forgot the fucking audio again. God damn it. Every week it's Prepare something. Prepare food. That's Oh, my, that's very boring. Like, if, sad. what you do, honestly, my brain went what to do under quarantine, and my mm. brain went drink, eat, jerk off. <laughs> the fuck yeah. It. That's, like, that's, that's the holy trinity, you know? I, I seen someone at the very beginning of the pray, COVID pray, stuff. I forgot, pray, pray, pray. The holy quarantility. <laughs> I, I I seen this uh this woman do a, a comedy bit. She's like, you know, once COVID's over, there's gonna be a plethora of male comedians who just come out and like, so during quarantine, I masturbated a lot. <laughs> ding 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 ding, and that's the only joke they'll have. Yeah, I was really. like, that's funny when you're in conversation with someone, but not when you're paying someone to be funny on stage. Yeah, hey, yeah, because yeah. I guess stand ups do work off like they're. They kind of go from life experience yeah. to if you're seeing me weirdly fucking contort myself on the camera, it's I'm, I'm looking at this wheel and it's like some of the examples are, so this is the what to do under quarantine wheel. It's yoga, read a book, watch a great film, mm-hmm. play a game, hone a new skill, phone your family. Oh, wow. That made me feel bad. Uh, <laughs> phone an old friend. No. No. Why would Does that you say that? wine? Does that say, spit it again. I need to know if that says wine. All right, we're oh, spinning oh, again. Oh, uh, it's, 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 it says right. Right. Oh, I thought it just yeah. said why. <laughs> well, was... we did do a lot of that, didn't we? Exactly. We had a good first quarantine. Yeah. Well, no, we started drinking before the first quarantine. Yeah, let's be honest here. Yeah, we kind of missed out on a whole month of pre... Would, would you... Okay, so you know how we spent all of January 2020? Yeah. Just shit face and hungover and yeah that was basically our entire month we might as well have been quarantined in yeah. january but what i mean is if you could go back in time and reappreciate that time more oh would you yes well i feel like i appreciated it in the moment in hindsight you never appreciate things as much regardless but i think i did appreciate it. i just it's weird thinking of anything pre-covid now yeah because like 
obviously it is very much normalized to everyone now, even with the whole political climate and everything like that. And every two weeks being like, ah, fucking quarantines and people not wearing masks or whatever. Nobody gives a fuck anymore. No, nobody cares. I, don't, I literally don't know anyone that cares besides like literal politicians or yeah. people from like Texas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know any yeah. of them, but they're the only motherfuckers I hear on the news. Yeah. I don't know. Like obviously COVID's and like it's it's an important not important but like it's it's an always ever present looming threat. Yeah. But the more time goes on, the more I think we're learning to live with it. Yeah. But also we are in a very privileged position to be able to say that. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're yeah. in like first world country. That shit's yeah. like it killed like not that many people. Yeah, like like we're we're so lucky where yeah. we are right now and like I know Ireland's handling of COVID has been like kind of piss poor and all over the place but all things considered we don't have a government who's actively denying the existence of the deadly disease and claiming that it might like vaccines could turn people I, into I wouldn't crocodiles even, i wouldn't even so. say that i would just say put it down to the fact that there was nowhere we way we could have actually handled it where we would have been worse off than any third world country like literally, yeah. <laughs> we could have literally opened everything everywhere more people would have survived just out of sheer fucking running water. Yeah. <laughs> like, just... Yeah. No, you could have done nothing. You could have done literally nothing to the country. Like, 100,000 people might have died, and then a billion people fucking still would have died around the world. Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually know the death... I, I don't really want to look up the yeah. death numbers of COVID, but I assume in India, death's a lot. Yeah. Because, I mean, they were, like, fabricating the, like, the vaccines and then shipping them over, and then they were like, cool, so now... We're going to start caring about ourselves. And it was like, why oh, are you so greedy? Yeah. Why oh, are you so greedy? And it's like, because we got like, a, we got so many people. Have you seen all the people we have? Jimmy, Jimmy unvaccinated is there making a vaccine while unvaccinated. Yeah. I mean, listen, <laughs> it's, it's like the serving food in a restaurant from all 20 year old staff that aren't vaccinated that's, to people that are exactly in the restaurant. Where it was going, yeah. yeah, exactly. Because it's, it's fucking... I, my parents came into my work the last day, yeah. well, parent and boyfriend, and uh, sat them down, uh, chatted to them uh, afterwards, served them their entire food, brought them down their food, their drinks, all of that, literally handed them the cutlery that they were going to use, but I'm not allowed to sit down at the end and talk to them on my break, so I had to leave and go somewhere. Yep. <laughs> Which is, I, I, I understand it, but like... It's still just the irony in the moment was very yeah. funny to me. Yep. Or the maybe not the irony, the hypocrisy. Yeah. Yep. COVID news. COVID news. I had a COVID. I had a good COVID and it's gone now. What was your good COVID? What was your COVID bit? I don't know. Oh. I actually got quite a... I don't know how many of you have been vaccinated or whatever. Audience, dear audience, not all the people. There's no one else in the room. Uh, but... I went to our COVID vaccination center, which in Ireland, where we live, is like a race course. And uh, it's like the first time I went there, it was a lot busier. And it was genuinely like being in a zombie apocalypse movie. And it kind of weirded me out for a minute because like I went in and there was like stages and there, every stage they asked you multiple questions. And there was like th it was basically like three step authentication, but in real life because hmm. uh in Ireland, I don't know where you are, but they ask you, before you even get in the building, they ask you, how are you doing? Uh, have you had COVID or whatever? The security liability questions. And then they let you in. And then you have to show photo ID. Then they ask you the questions again and ask you if someone's already asked them to you. And then they let you in again. And then they have to officially check you in and check you off and confirm your date of birth and everything. And then you go into this weird corridor that has red lights and green lights and a, like 25 boots. And if it's a green light, you can go into the booth and get stabbed by some random dude. And if not, and then you just walk in and out and there's like 50 nurses and there's like army people behind the, the fucking, the desks, like typing into computers. And like the first time I was there, it was really, really busy. It must have, I think it was when they just opened the, the new age bracket and everyone mm. was fucking flying in and out and it was nuts. And I was like, bro, if you put the right music to this and like quick cuts, this actually would be like a movie, like a fucking scene from... What's the last zombie movie I've seen? World War Z or something. I was thinking it, it felt a lot like uh, Children of Men. Yeah. Oh, just yeah. ominously wa uh, walking around and everything's like divided it's, so much. It was so it weird. Like, it was only like, uh, it was very set up and organized, mm. but it was just like two seconds of my brain just going, fuck, that is 
fucking weird. I'm just like, how am I shocked by this when I've seen this done in fiction like 10,000 yeah. million times? I don't know. Just my, my, my first world privilege hitting like yeah. actual it's issues. Just, you're like, oh no, the world's fucked. I mean, on that note, uh, I got my second dose of my vaccine today. Yay. And uh, as you can clearly see, where are we? Where are we putting the barbecue this week? Uh, it's behind you. There. Yeah. There. I'm going to yeah. do it. I'm going to do it right this week. On the barbecue, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's my brand new. Fu- 5G. <laughs> I got five bars now, bro. Look at look at that shit. It's fucking zooming. I found it very ironic. I got my 5G on my phone is now Wi-Fi, and now it's just like <laughs> Wi-Fi on my phone is uh, It's kind of fucked. Well, yeah. Jeffy Bezos, exactly. what you doing? <laughs> exactly. Don't don't. No. <laughs> the, no. the 5G will will instantly it's... go down. Don't don't chat shit oh, about Jeffy. That's the wrong guy. It's the what's his name. It's not the Jeffy Jeffy B. It's the Billy the Billy Billy the Buckles? Billy Jobs. Billy Bill no. Bill Jobs. What's the What's the Windows guy? Bill Wazowski. <laughs> what's the Halo guy? You know he he he's met with Master Chief. You know. Oh, <laughs> Bill Gates. Like you couldn't think of Bill Gates. I couldn't think of Bill Gates. That's a first for anyone. <laughs> No one has ever not been able to think of Bill Gates' name. For a second there, I lived in a happier world without Bill Gates. Without Bill Gates. Oh, he gives a lot to charity. Yeah, dude, he should. He He's should. got all the money. Hey, he shouldn't do anything. I don't, I don't... People that are like, if you're a celebrity, you should like fucking uh, give to charity. I'm like, bruh, you should give to charity. You should go give an Indian kid a euro, like, a fucking month at least, bro. When's the last time you gave something to charity, all right? Shut the fuck up. It's fucking relative, okay? He has a billion dollars. He gives a billion away. That's equivalent to you giving a tenner a month, all right? Shut the fuck up. It's hard to care about people, bro, especially when you're a maniacal millionaire. True, true. When you've been, like, that rich for, like, however many years yeah. they've been, like... You've seen that uh, clip of Bill Gates where it's like, oh, you know, every once in a while I allow myself a, uh, what's the word? Like a little, uh, like Luxury. a little cheat day or whatever, a yeah. little treat. And he's like, so yeah, we had these stones brought from uh, Spain to my house in California. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as a little treat, I built an elevator from my first house to my second house. And it's like, a little treat for me is like, yeah. I don't know, cutting down on coffee. But it's relative. You know, it's, it's, relative. All, it's all relative. Yeah. <laughs> Well, billionaires shouldn't exist. Yeah, you know, billionaires are billionaires bad. Yeah, but sure, look, it's like the, ter- uh, you you know the you ever seen the show Altered Carbon? Yeah. And you know the 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 guy the really rich guys in that that are the Mets, which are mm. basically just like if Jeff Bezos never died, that's the whole storyline. Mm. Yeah. And it's like it's so crazy dead on. Now <laughs> I think, like, imagine <laughs> Jeff Bezos never died. He just yeah. like he would own the universe. Probably, yeah. I mean. Because it's like, how is that guy ever going to stop making money? Like, Amazon going to shut down? No. What if someone starts a rival Amazon? Amazon. I mean, they'd already be rich, though. Like, no one can start another Amazon. Yeah. I'm, and be as successful without having millions already. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, it's... Imagine trying to get to that amount of wealth, like, now. And by the time you get to his level of wealth, he's already like quadrupled. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like you can literally, if he never died, you could never catch up unless you like started shitting diamonds or something like, and that still would be pretty hard. A diamond a day might not be enough to keep Amazon down. You know, you know what they say? A diamond a day <laughs> keeps <laughs> the Jeffy away. Keeps Jeff away. <laughs> Put that on a t-shirt. Diamonds at him. He won't, he won't leave. I, like, I, have to, I do have to actually get out of here at some point. Let's yeah, let's start yeah. spinning All that right, news. As much shit. as I was loving that. Yeah. I mean, the whole idea of the wheel is like to give us something to, to go fall back True, I on. guess we do never have to go to the wheel if we don't want to. Yeah. You know? Uh, we should announce the wheel this I week. Feel, I feel... Uh, announce it? Yeah, we haven't announced it in a we few weeks. It no. We haven't explained the concept of the wheel of news in a while. The wheel of news? Well, if you are a new listener, the wheel mm-hmm. of news is uh 50%, well, no percentages, but... There's a lot of stories on it from the the news from the week, mm-hmm. from the media. Some are true, some are false. Uh, David does most of the research, research because I'm a lazy fuck, mm-hmm. and then he it basically makes up our conversation topics, and I have to choose whether it's real or fake. Mm-hmm. And anytime it's fake, uh, I believe it's lies, and he's a fucking lying whore. And anytime I'm right, I'm uh, I am God, yeah. and that's generally how it goes. I'll level with you. Yeah, I I put this wheel together last night. 
while I was quite uh, sickly. Uh, oh. If I sound like shit, it's not, because I feel like shit. Not a fresh wheel, no. Uh, so, and old. also we're recording this halfway through the week because yeah. I didn't get the right days out. It's whatever. But like, like the wheel isn't great this week. I'll have it with you. It's hey, not a great we wheel. We should have we stuck on Jeffy Bezos. Yeah. I did have a point about Jeffy and then I missed it. Fucking spin whatever. it. Whatever. Spin it, spin it, spin know? it in a trim. Oh, so what, you queued to me announcing it? That makes sense. Whoa, 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 whoa. Amazon makes a show about union busting. So once again, Jeffy can't be stopped. He can't be stopped. Can't be stopped. Yeah. Union busting. Yep. Is this the 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 live documentary about uh, uh what they did in uh, New Zealand <laughs> that we talked about oh, last no, week? No. Is this the doc <laughs> about how they broke up all the unions? This is the story of the first uh, female Pinkerton detective. Pinkerton? Yeah, Pinkerton is a, a private agency, private detective agency, that was set up essentially with the sole purpose of busting unions. Sounds very fictional. Like busting up corrupt unions or like... No, no, no. Breaking down legitimate Just unions. being paid by big companies yeah. to bust unions so that workers would have less rights. Bro, I'm about to bust a union. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I don't want to get into my head. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I, Makes I just, a show. Yeah, so they've they've because famously the Pinkertons were all cunts. Yeah, and assholes. Are they a family? That's the agency. Yeah, Pinkertons. Pinkertons. Who was the Pinkerton? Jimmy Pinkerton. Jimmy Pinkerton. What did he do? Was he like legendary level of asshole? This sounds like a movie script already. Well, no, like the whole like the union like the this detective agency was put together to be like. Man, people are out there, like, being awfully suspicious. These worker guys keep asking for rights. What if they're <laughs> radical communists? Communists. Fuck, I fucked I th- that up. I thought they were going to make, like, uh, Tom, who was vice chairman of the union because the lads made him do it, was out with a stripper one night and they fucking, <laughs> they sent him <laughs> pictures and it's like, we're going to sue you. And he's like, all right, all right whatever, bro. Yeah. I'm going to go make steel again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just like they, they're framing this show about like some some of the biggest assholes and class traders in history yeah the big company that won't that doesn't like unions is like but she's a feminist icon she's a girl boss she's union busting but with the gals with the gals (laughs) hey you know you can't choose what they're good at all right you get a few and you fucking you roll with the punches all right ladies you know at least 50 percent of like successful men have probably raped people or something horrible <laughs> i i i not like yeah not like you're earning 20 euro an hour and you're fucking manager of mcdonald's you know like no, like, like ceo head fund yeah. manager you know they've probably done some shady shit you can't like accumulate that much wealth without yeah. fucking people over do you think like i don't know about you but like i don't look up to hedge fund managers no. Or like <laughs> stockbrokers or anything. And it's just like most of those jobs are made up by men. I'm like, yeah, but we don't really like them either. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> I like, would respect it if they were equal opportunities. Yeah. They're already scumbags. Yeah. I'm just like, you want to be a scumbag too? I can respect that. Yeah. <laughs> but don't complain about people being scumbags if you're jealous that you don't get to be a scumbag. But to be fair, that's the most scumbag move of all. So maybe you are yeah. balling, ladies. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, the thought of just being like, yeah, I'm a feminist. I fuck over the working class. It's like, that doesn't sound like a quality to me at yeah. all. <laughs> I can fuck over the working class better than any man. <laughs> love, I love your, I love your, uh, I love your attitude. Uh, wrong, mm-hmm. wrong strategy here. Wrong strategy. Yeah. You, uh, you got the ideas right. Uh, and then somewhere along the way, you lost your principles. Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh. I didn't mean to take that to a gender place. My no. brain instantly just went to, like, girl boss, and I went to that, whatever that fucking Beyonce thing was for a while. The bossy shit. Oh, yeah. I was like, don't be bossy. I'm like, like I guess they got a point, but still, everyone's a boss. Well, I, I, <laughs> I'd call a girl bossy. I'd call a guy a cunt. <laughs> Is that worse? <laughs> Probably. I should be fair, I wouldn't say a No, I'd call, I'd call both male and females cunts. Cunts, I'm yeah. I'm leaning on a frame. I forget I'm, a, I'm an equal for. opportunist. Yeah, you're all cunts. Yeah. <laughs> No, but it's like uh, I think that just took me back to every like debate I ever watched in between the ages of like fucking sixteen and eighteen on yeah. YouTube, where it's like fucking who are the dudes like Ben Shapiro and all them that whatever that yeah. group of fucking Feminist YouTubers gets, gets destroyed by logic. Yeah, 
And it's just like some fucking lady that clearly isn't that great at public speaking. Yeah. And he just like yells at her and she's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. and it's like, right. like your, your likes of like a Steven Crowder who's like, yeah. I'm going to go to a college campus and question a 17 year old yeah. on their morals and beliefs yeah. because I'm an asshole. Like the, le- like the left, right and everything in between of yeah. like fucking Shapiro. I think I see Shapiro and that Crowder dude. They're very just fucking yellow people until they give yeah. up. Or like and just then, speak uh, very fast. And then uh, Peterson, another dude, like Jordan Peterson, Mr. fucking Hale Lobster dude. He'd always just be like, it's just personality differences. And uh, like women kind of just like people more than guys. Guys like fucking computers and shit. And, and, and so like there's more nurses than engineers. So he's, you know, it's not that complicated. Everyone's like, fuck you, yeah, you piece of shit. And I was like, okay, he wasn't entirely right, but like, you know, he wasn't that wrong, guys. You know, Come on, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I, you know, he sounds like someone doing a bad Kermit the Frog impersonator yeah. who's also debating. But I was going to say, yeah. but at least, but I don't, I can't think of a positive attribute for Jordan Peterson. He's just there. Yeah, he's there. You know, he's he's there just chilling. there. He's just chilling. It's like, but it's just, no matter what you do, it's like, even if, if they're completely, or, uh, trying to be a logical human in that space is like, don't even try. Yeah. <laughs> don't. It's like, <laughs> just it. It doesn't work. And I just, I remember, you know, you, when you're just in that. I feel like everyone goes through that phase of watching those videos for a yeah. while when you're younger, and then you get to like twenty, and you either made your mind up or you don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's the whatever the wormhole is, whatever the rabbit hole on YouTube is, yeah. where you start with like Keemstar and Leafy is here. And end up watching compilations of feminist gets destroyed by, yeah. but uh, liberal doesn't understand logic or whatever. Your little like seventeen yeah. year old brain, some guys throwing like more than three valid points yeah. at you at a time. And you're like, ah! you're like, I've never questioned anything. What's... Someone's saying something at me. I guess they must be right. What's your opinion? I don't know. Whatever I watched last night on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you either grow from that, yeah. or I don't know, blindly keep following stuff without questioning it. Yeah, or you just make up your mind. I hope yeah. there's people that like just like, what's that phrase uh, of? That it's like if if you're not a socialist by the time you're twenty, you got no heart. If you're not a capitalist by the time you're thirty, you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it's something. It's something like that along those lines, and it's just like everyone in their twenties is. You definitely just like have infinite faith. And you're like, yeah. yeah, we should do that thing. We should do that. And, yeah. then, and then like you get to like twenty five, and you're either like still on that shit, yeah. or you're like, I don't care. Well, I don't know. I, I think I went. I think I went from uh, that to like, yeah, I can't trust any of these bitches. <laughs> yeah, I think anyone who works a minimum wage job is like, you yeah. know what? It'd be cool if we just kind of looked after each other, and then you meet one asshole. Yeah. You're like, but it wouldn't work, would it? Yeah. Because this guy exists. That's always my point in every argument ever I've ever had since like one day I just had an epiphany. I'm like, bro, there's assholes on every side. <laughs> It's not going to work because that motherfucker's yeah. there. I was like, if you give people freedom, they have the freedom to be a prick. You know? And that's that's kind of it. I don't know. I'd... Most politi- political we've gotten in a while. Yeah. I haven't got... Well, no, actually, it was on my brain because yesterday I, I had a, a meeting with someone, uh, with someone's father, and uh, it got very political very quick. I was like, ah, I feel like I'm 14 at the dinner table again. Got political? Yeah. God. Yeah. It started with climate change, and he was being very vague about climate change. And I was like, okay. All right. Because it started with electric buses. And I was like, well, you know how, like, getting the energy for the batteries is not any more better than just using petrol engine. I'm like, okay. Okay. And then it was very vague. And then all of a sudden, it was like, yeah. So, like, we're currently on this thing that scientists call, like, uh, <laughs> a solar decline. Where because the way the Earth like is on its axis, when it gets closer to different hotter parts of the sun, it heats up the planet more. And this has been going on for millions of thousands of years. And the planet kind of like evolves with it. I'm like, right. But it's been getting increasingly hotter for 20 years. Uh-huh. Wh- maybe something's accelerating it. I was like, what the fuck is this? This is terrifying. And then it got political. Got political. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? Socialism is pretty cool. And he was like, well, where's socialism work? I was like, the CIA hasn't allowed socialism to work. You ever heard of every war ever, motherfucker? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. This is, this is the someone's father, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like, <laughs> was like, yeah. We got, was we, like, who the fuck did you be? We got back home and she was like, so I don't, did I preface what my father is kind of like, 
leaning to the uh, right wing. I was like, oh, heads up would have been nice. <laughs> uh, heads up would have been nice. <laughs> Wouldn't have wasted my time. <laughs> Would have just nodded and agreed. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm very glad I don't have to deal with that. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I like to fucking spin this again, uh, or do you have any more points to make? No. I was just gonna say that I I really I feel like I'm I'm a, I'm a terrible member of society because mm-hmm. I I I've I've just given up <laughs> on arguing because I, I like my entire argument oh, every time just comes back to I don't fucking know, bro. <laughs> I don't. It comes back to like the fucking Big Lebowski. I don't know, dude. What we're doing in this place? Like even when you were saying all that, you were like the sun and the thing spins in the church. Like how you know, bro? Who the fuck? Who told you? Some other motherfucker. Yeah. I don't know. Right. Like it comes back to the viewers. I got very drunk one evening, and I and I shared an opinion half jokingly about uh, the fact that uh, you can only get so far in education. <laughs> before some like in maths or science or whatever whatever your realm of expertise is to like a group of men and or women all cunts <laughs> grab you bring you behind into a dark room and just go okay we lied about all of it you're getting to the point that you can figure that out now write a book fuck off or we'll kill you <laughs> and then and then you just continue to say what they've said and I, and you know I'm mostly joking about this, but I'm like 20% in the back of my brain at all times. When I just hear like, oh yeah, the fucking son is doing this. And I'm and my brain is like, I'm not smart enough. I'm a dumb fuck, if you, like dear listener. I have, I have no idea about science or anything. Like that. And my brain goes, yeah, but how though? It's like, because we talked to the son and we, ch- and, we, and we checked it out. And the son was like, yeah, that's what we're doing. And I'm like, bro. Sure, I'll go with it, but I have no idea <laughs> what the fuck you're saying to me yeah, right now. You don't have the capability to like yeah. know if they're lying. To I'm you. not honestly intrigued enough or a decent enough human to like look into that mm. and like really educate myself on something, uh, unless it's important to myself because I am mm. human after all. Very yeah. Uh But uh, yeah, so anytime I get into an argument ever, I'll get to a point and then I'll stop. <laughs> I'll get to the point where someone has clearly put in more research to me, and I go, yeah, sure, whatever. Yeah. I think I've... Uh, Not with, like, to an, to an exception, yeah. dear viewer. I think I've definitely increased that uh, mentality in you. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. You you, you brought that shit home. When we started hanging out, yeah. you, like, make points and shit. And yeah. I think the last time we had a song, you are like, you know what? I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> to be, to be fair, it's, it's, I think it's... It, it, I don't think most of it's been you, no, because you've you've been the same the entire time I've met you. Well, uh-huh. you've you've gotten better. Uh, but thanks, I appreciate. That. Not in that vein, but yeah. like just as a human, you've mm-hmm. improved. Yeah, you yeah. Know, good job. Thanks. If you haven't been improving, you know, you'd be doing on on <laughs> rough, <butt>. not so good. <laughs> but just like I don't know, I think I've just gotten very pessimistic and just just coming to realize that I really don't care about winning arguments with people mm. or stuff. But. So, <laughs> and if it's that fucked up of an argument or they're trying to make that fucked up of a point i'm not friends with them anyway so it doesn't just, matter it's yeah. like if just fucking yeah. like you know yeah. i think that i should be able to buy a person if that ever came up i'm not gonna be like yeah, yeah you know yeah sure whatever <laughs> i don't know maybe that person wanted to be bought <laughs> yeah. maybe they just don't like saying it <laughs> you're like hold the phone could you roll that back like five sentences because we were talking, we are just having a conversation. Yeah, we are just talking about something. All right, Aunt, yeah. Yeah, let's get yeah. weird. <laughs> that, was, that was the political 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, do you want to stop and start the recording political. again? Yeah, yeah, it's probably yeah. a good show. Hi. Uh, hey, can I just say? Yeah. Uh, I don't, you know when, because when, we do a lot of voices and like different uh, pitch changes when we talk. Yeah. I don't know if that like translates to anything good ever. Ever? Yeah. Because I listen to it back. I'm like. Is this is this anything? What are we doing here? Is that's, any of this? That's personality. All right, we can't all talk like robots. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. Spin that bitch, or click it. It's not really spinning it. It's not. Ah! Can, can you get like? Why is my button working? <laughs> what do you mean this? Can, can you get like Whatever. a wheel, like a wheel that you can plug into your laptop that can actually spin? I mean, can, probably. Can we do that. Disney makes money. I'm going to go with factual. (laughs) (laughs) 
You know what? I'm going to throw... I, I'm going to go... Unpopular opinion. I think Disney does make money. You know? I think well. they make money and they feed it to Mickey. <laughs> Every week we have a bit about Mickey Mouse. Mickey. As if he's a real entity. Mickey is a real person. They've, I don't know what you think. If anyone's, like, got the genetic capability, like, the science and the money to, like, make a real Mickey Mouse. It's, it's, it's Disney. Disney. I don't know why they would, but... Bob Iger, or whoever's... No, he's gone from Disney now. But Bob, Bobby Iger... Bobby Iger? He wakes up one day and he's like, hey, yo, make me a real fucking Mickey Mouse. You're like, <laughs> you mean like a guy in a costume? He's like, did I, I say that? I want Mickey Mouse motherfucker. I mean, if they could like, well, no, because they're making robots at the moment for the theme parks. But if they could like genetically create like, like these things and they classify them as pets then so they wouldn't have to pay them oh. a price, like a uh, employment. You'd be like, yeah, so here's your real Mickey Mouse for your Disneyland Tokyo. There you go. If I ever see an animatronic Mickey Mouse, I will crawl over your corpse to escape whatever is about to happen. Because <laughs> I, I will I will freak the fuck out. <laughs> well, I know what we're doing for your birthday. <laughs> Don't come near me. Uh, one, of, one of our mates was threatening to get me a, a life-size model of it for my birthday and leave it in my room. And I, I genuinely would have thrown hands. I I I not yeah. not a fan. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Animatronics and and like clowns. Yeah. No, no. Disney makes money. Like in what content? Yeah, true. What content? What have they done now? What have they bought? I don't know. I didn't write notes down for this right. one. <laughs> On to the next one. I think it was like. I mean, there was a lot of Disney news. Uh, the Scarlett Johansson things going ahead, like the the lawsuit, and Disney was like, think of like. There's so many people suffering them in the pandemic, you. and you're wanting more money. It's like you're Disney. What? Just pay up. Give us the right. money. And then some uh, studio, some special effects studio, is suing them because they allegedly stole their software for like the Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. movies, which I believe. You know, I want to work in movies one day. Yeah. I'm burning a lot of bridges on the show. <laughs> I uh... odds on Scarlett Johansson being dead in here. <laughs> <laughs> Odds. Yeah. What's ha- what, what? Like, what's? How did the? How did they take yeah. celebrities out? Uh, accident. They Training could... for a new movie. They let her make Black Widow too. <laughs> there's a mountain climbing scene. <laughs> they there's... provide training. There's a scene in the Alps. So suspicious. She could get the um. Ah, oh, what's his name? Ah, oh, no, that was gonna be a funny bit. Oh no, it's gone. It's gone. Can't... Anyway, one of the guys who was like. The main starters of Soviet Russia realized when uh, when Stalin came to power that he was going to get fucked, so he went to Mexico, and uh, he died in a in a climbing accident. <laughs> and by climbing accident, I mean he was stabbed in a pickaxe. Yeah. With the pickaxe in the, the back of the head while he slept. To be fair, like Stalin killed enough dudes, he wasn't too subtle about it. Yeah, but, <laughs> he wasn't exactly. <laughs> maybe in the start, he was like, maybe we try the subtlety you speak of. And he was like, you know what? Fuck that. He got to the point. He was like, this is taking so much time. I'm going to kill like 20 million people. <laughs> everyone. I'm going to kill everyone. Uh, I, I, Some dude cough. He thought he was like <laughs> fucking putting down. That motherfucker's dead. Yeah. Anyway, Disney makes money. Disney does make money. Uh, good on them, I guess. I buy it. I buy yeah. it. You really were. What, you... what was wrong with you last night? I was just... I, I came back, right? Yeah. Uh, all my bones hurt. Yeah. Uh, felt like my brain had been uh, like put into concrete. So far, this sounds like tiredness. Uh, my sinuses were fucked. Oh, like, more than they usually oh, are. Because I have terrible good. sinuses. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Um, Don't leave! Don't leave! Come back! Leave. He didn't mean it! Um, <laughs> They're white sinuses. They're white <laughs> What? I don't know. What the fuck does that even mean? I don't know. I just assume everyone's racist or something. Yeah. I don't know. I know. I thought it was funny. Well, you know, what the odds of like two white boys on a podcast <laughs> secretly being racist are surprisingly high. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? But we're different because... Yeah. We're the good ones. We're the good whites. <laughs> yeah, that's... Don't believe us, folks. That's yeah. what they all say. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says I'm a nice person like every five minutes reminding you that I'm a nice person. <laughs> I'm a good guy and all, but fucking hell, insert group name here. Bunch of motherfuckers. 
Anyway, yeah, I don't know. Disney is fucking they're making money. They're spin doing the fucking stuff. wheel. I've been telling you to spin the wheel. All right. Like, I just, you, I, had, I had, I had a point at one point. It's you had gone. a point. The point's gone. That's if what you we don't, if you don't, the podcast. That's what the podcast is. If you don't make a point in three seconds of hearing the thing, you can't leave the dead air and it's gone. Yep. When do you read it out? I'm not actually. This says over. reminiscence is either the best or worst movie. Reminiscence is it out? Is it coming out? It's already out. I've, I've, I've not seen this. Well. Neither have I. <laughs> it's Hugh Jackman movie. You really did. You really you put I've in the hard hitters in. this week. I folded in so much this week. <laughs> What's reminiscence about? Uh, it's like a, it's like Inception. It's about dreams and shit. Oh, I'm sweating so much. Yeah, someone put the. Is that the one that looks like basically Wolverine in the trailer? Well, you mean because Hugh Jackman's in it? Yeah, but it's Hugh Jackman, and they have him in a fucking water pool, and then they drowned him in a water pool yeah. again, and it's like a weird like remembering sequence and it's literally it's literally wolverine so so the pitch is right in the far far future yeah at our not too far future world's flooded it's fucking water everywhere water world too no what because instead of like edition instead of vibing with the water world people are like you know what i remember when there wasn't water world Oh. And and Hugh Jackman's like I'll put you in a puddle and you can go back and remember you can reminisce and it's directed by uh, the cinematographer of Inception and it was written by uh, Christopher Nolan's brother's wife <laughs> and Hugh Jackman's in it probably talented and Rebecca I can't remember her name is in it she's in Mission Possible the mission the, the mission's actually possible you reckon she's like made millions off scripts solely out of writing down uh, the throwaway ideas that the Nolans be having at like the Christmas dinner yeah. table like they'll be but what if no, fuck that. Don't want to do that. Well, well, no, because she co-wrote uh, most of uh, Westworld, the good seasons. Ah, oh, yeah. good job. And then it was her husband who went insane and was like, "We went. We seen a Reddit post. Like, guess the theor- guess the premise of the next season. So we yeah. changed the season because uh, when you write something good and people can guess it, you want to change it. So because yeah, I'm the Nolan. Okay, look at the look at the timeline. It's so wacky. They're a strange bunch. Yeah. Anyway, I seen like five reviews, one after the other. I was like, you know, this movie actually isn't that good. And then the next one was like, this is the greatest thing I've seen all year. And I was like, you know what? I don't know. It's probably all right. I picture like uh, Christopher Nolan's like interview process being like he fully explains the script. Mm-hmm. He sits them down. He asks them what what they think of the script and what's and they like he just he's just like, can you explain it back to me? <laughs> And if they're actually able to explain it back to him, he scraps the movie. <laughs> he instantly scraps the movie and he never makes it. He's in the Warner Bros. Yeah. parking lot. He's like pitching the movie to them. And they're like, no, I get it. I get it. Like, Fuck. Fuck. Shit. No, but it's just like, I, I, just Leonardo DiCaprio is like, here's this whole movie, first run through. And he's like, yeah. So what do you think of the movie and the premise? Uh, The... Uh, I like the bit where he made the grenade launcher in his hand. Fucking let's go, boys. <laughs> we got a hit. We got a hit. They're going to have to watch it three times in cinema. <laughs> That's how he makes his money. That's how he makes his money. Just like, uh, people will go back to see it. Right? That's how movies work. If people I just don't make a good that. enough soundtrack, <laughs> they'll enjoy Hans, whatever. Hans, get I over here. Up. Hans, Bobby. <laughs> my, favorite, here. my favorite clip from any Christopher Nolan uh, special features is uh, him talking about getting the sound right for the Joker in The Dark Knight. Yeah. And uh, Hans Zimmer, like, was testing for months and coming up with all these ideas. And he was like, so I was on a flight to Shanghai to, like, see where we could film. It was a nine-hour flight. So, dutifully, I listened to, like, however many hours it was of stuff. And I was like, damn, Hans, you have found it. It's in there. I don't know quite where it is, but you found it. And that sounds to me like someone... Didn't listen to a fucking note of whatever he played. He was like, yeah, I like the violin, the it's bit like, with the like, Joker. It's like the dude's clearly talented. He's made enough soundtracks. He'll figure it out. <laughs> like fucking. I'm a director. I delegate. He'll, okay. he'll do it. I think it was, uh, what was, which one came first? The Dark Knight trilogy. Well, Before Interstellar or... Uh, well, no, he made movies in between each one. Didn't he? Yeah, yes. when did he make Interstellar? Where was that one? Interstellar, I think, was between Dark Knight and uh, uh, Batman. These, these uh, 
returns. He's back. He's back again. He he's rises. Back. He, he rises. definitely rises. He definitely Batman rises. rises. He gets uh, up out of his chair. Yeah, no, but I seen the uh, whatever interview it was with Hans Zimmer because I just I just seen Hans Zimmer playing an organ. I'm like, that's cool. And uh, obviously his soundtrack's pretty fucking bitching. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it was just like him being like, yeah, Christopher just kind of came up and he was like, write me something. <laughs> and I was like, what? Just write me something. Just write me something and I'll come by one day and we'll listen to it and we'll see what's up. And then and then Hans Zimmer was like, yeah, so I don't know. I was feeling pretty sad because it was around like the anniversary of like my dad dying or something. So I wrote kind of something about that in a, in whatever, however way musicians express shit through music. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I don't know. Unless they put words there. I don't know what's happening. they doing sounds? Yeah. Why do they do that? And then he was like, the, then Christopher came by the next day and he was like, oh yeah, the movie actually is about a, 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 a parent losing their child and, and vice versa. And I'm like, Christopher? You're such a fucking little liar. You just wanted to make a space movie and then you just like yeah. added. <laughs> I feel like he's just walking yeah. around, doesn't have a clue what the fuck he's going to do. He just has all this money and then like he's just grabbing bits from here yeah. and there to see what the crack is. I've I've definitely told you about uh my my least favorite top like d- discussion about Tenet. Yeah. Which I still I love that movie, you know? Yeah, I know. I, I love it. It's you, great. You watch it drunkenly at least like once every two months. It's so good. It's uh, it's not a great movie, but it's just a fun blockbuster. Yeah. But I seen this video essay analyzing it. It was like, what Christopher Nolan was trying to do was write a movie about characters with no personality and still make you engage <laughs> with them. And I was like, honey, he's just not great at writing characters that are well-defined. That's why his brother is like his co-screenwriter on all of his best like character-driven movies. Yeah, man had to like whip out the "Oh, my baby's been taken from me" storyline to make his characters have any emotional arc. I think uh, I think Christopher doesn't care about people. Yep, is the issue. I think Christopher Nolan like really gets bogged down the fact that he actually has to put people in his movies. Like he just like he's 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 all big picture, mm-hmm. you know. It's like man loves time, just time and space and all this shit. And he's like, you know, we really have no meaning whatsoever. And then someone every once in a while, a producer has to just sit Christopher down. They grab him in, they sit him in a chair, and and they just they just take him they just take him by hand. They're just like Chris, Chris, okay, you're really good at making movies. You're really talented. No one gives a fuck about time, okay? You got to put people in it. Chris, you got to put people in it. Nobody is going to watch just POV of going through space for two hours, okay? But, like, like time's forever and, like, people aren't, so it's, yeah. like, difficult yeah. for me to relate. Chris? As a demigod who's been Chris. around since Chris. forever, Chris. I don't Chris. understand the human struggle. Fucking Chris. Just gets his brother, calls his brother. <laughs> Come fucking talk to him. Come talk to him. Come Jonathan. talk to him. Jonathan! Jonathan! Come here! Come here, <laughs> Jonathan's just there in the hallway, like, no, I don't want it. I don't want it. Oh, I'm sick of dealing with. It. I'm sick of dealing with. It. That's why he has his wife to do it. That's, <laughs> that's why. That's the real reason he he married a very talented writer. Yeah. So he can pawn <laughs> Christopher off in like the family reunion. It's like, oh, you go over there talking to the thing. She's like, fucking trying to run away. Yeah. Everyone's just trying to constantly trying to run away yeah. from Chris. So it's like, all right, picture this. It's all about Tom, and it's like Tom, but it's taking place at different times. <laughs> like Tom and Tom, and like his nephews, just like. I like pooped in my pants last night. I was. What I, about time? You guys are all English. <laughs> I just, I just picture it like just he just arrives at the at the party. He's like, oh sorry, I'm late. But if you think about it, I'm not really late because I'm actually early somewhere else. So it's counteracting it. Tom's kind Even of like the times that a circle. It's like Chris, Chris, come here, Chris, come here. <laughs> They, they, they just sit him down with like the granny with Alzheimer's and he just starts spouting to her. He's like, you don't even know time exists, love, anymore. You have no concept of the thing that has no concept. I, I like the idea that they pull him aside. He's like, hey, but like, we love you. You're a great part of this family. You're really fucking bringing the mood down. All right. We're at a wake already. It's already fucking oh, difficult to deal sorry. with this. Could you just like... Somewhere she's not actually dead. Though. Oh my God. Dude. <laughs> like... Time's actually a circle. If you were like a fourth dimensional being, you'd see it as like flat. So it's all taking place all the time. So Gran's actually still alive. Chrissy. 
Chrissy, my boy. Do you see Grant popping up now, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Scudder's like, whips fucking Christopher Nolan's granny out of the f- fucking <laughs> box. Like, uh, she's not alive, Chris! <laughs> <laughs> fucking dead, mate. You're fucking dead, Chris. Fucking yeah, dead. Yeah, but if you were the fourth dimensional being, I'll make you a fucking fourth dimensional <laughs> being, you piece of shit. <laughs> I love Christopher <laughs> Nolan. I, I want to end that on. I love that guy. <laughs> I do love Christopher Nolan, but it's just, oh. You seen that clip of him talking about how he loves blockbuster movies? And they're like, oh, like what? And he's like, Tokyo Drift. I'm like, fuck yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Christopher Nolan, honestly, seems exhausting, but also like the loveliest dude. Yeah. Oh, I'm sweating yeah. so much. Yeah, because someone turned the fucking radiators on. Who turned the radiator? You I can, don't know. You can turn yours off. Wait, what? You can turn, you can twist it up. You can, you can turn to, I thought you could, like they were all run off the central heating. I didn't know that. I didn't. Now I gotta like. Put it to one end and figure out which one is the right end because it's painted on. <laughs> I've had my radiator turned off. Uh huh. I've had my radiator turned off for like a good year now. Yeah. No, it was grand in the winter, but then like uh, when I moved, um, like because I I used to, uh, I didn't have a desk for ages, folks, and then I got a desk, and the only place that really fits my room is right by the radiator, which is a terrible place to have a bunch of technology yeah. that's already overheating. Uh, but now I guess it'll be a little bit better because yeah, you know. I have a fan for my computer and a radiator turned off. People actually use the central heating in this house? I think it does. I definitely do not. I mean, you don't well, need it. You are. No, but even central like, heating. <laughs> no, but like I said, I, I throw it on like two hours in the morning. Like, who keeps using the electric shower? This is not good podcast yeah. material. Right, this no, is it is. Bitching let's, about let's fight about who, it. Who keeps using the electric shower? I'll use it at night. Why? Uh, cause sometimes I'll have a late shower, yeah. and I don't want like people to hear. Oh, you know, which is the sound feelings. Of yeah. Oh, I didn't. Encounter it's like that. empathy. Or I whatever. didn't think about that one. Yeah. I forgot that existed. You got too into characters, yeah. Chrissy Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter this time. Right on to the next anyway, one. Anyway, reminiscing. I can't get Jonathan Nolan ripping his grand's body <laughs> out of the fucking coffin out of my head. Now. Fucking dead, mate. <laughs> fucking dead, Chris. Damn, they keep making movies! What movies? Oh, you really, like, this is... The I just phoned it in so much. Seen. Hey, fair enough. Fair it's enough. actually I a lie. There's no movies. There's no they movie. They fuck. They came up. We're doing that in college, David. What are we meant to do? What is there, like, know. theoretically, like... Have, they have what it's... In the words of the restaurant, though, they have what's on what's on order, right? Yeah. They have what's already coming, but it's like stopping. That's it. Life. We're stopping it. No, I just like I looked at the news and I was like, there's so many interesting ideas coming up, and also everything's getting rebooted. And I was like, I don't care enough about any of these particular things. Yeah. To like actually put them on the wheel. Wow. So I just slack put. Week? Yeah, dude, it's a slack week, and okay, somehow no. we're having better conversation than regularly. <laughs> no, not the news, as in, like, just, like, actually for movies in general. Well, no, because, like, again, it's, like, half a week. Do you see the new trailer for Infinite? Or the Infinites, whatever they are? Oh, the Eternals. Yeah, oh, yeah. Eternal, whatever yeah. they are. Yeah, yeah, oh, those my God, Marvel really jumped on that, uh, on that Chloe Zhao is now an Academy Award winning director. Academy Award? They really, they fucking zoom that shit they were right like, up on They screen. were like, hey, yo. Scorsese doesn't think we're movies because he has a different opinion. Fuck him. Uh, Academy Award winning director. Fuck him. Nobody even, nobody even likes Goodfellas. They're not even Goodfellas. I don't get it. I don't the know why he called title. it Goodfellas when they're actually pretty bad fellas. This, the, I don't mean to be rude, but what time is it? Oh, just yeah. Just so I know. Uh, it is uh, I am actually having just a good time. 4 o'clock. Oh, that's fine. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good. I don't want to, like, have you late to work. Yeah. Fucking, uh, yeah. I don't know what to really think about it. Is it, is it the guy the, the guy they teased at the end? That's the big uh, world ender dude, is it? Uh, well, that that's, like, the guy, one of the dudes who made the Eternals. They made the Deviants and they made the Eternals. And in the comics, they also made the humans. Oh, um, I I was oh I think I was thinking of uh, what's the guy? Oh no, that's a uh, Silver Surfer. Who follow? Who go? Who mean, comes after the Silver Surfer? Oh, you mean Galactus? Galactus. Yeah, he's he is he is the weird helmet like that as yeah, well, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, okay. He has a big huge helmet. Uh, and in Rise of the Silver Surfer, he's just a big space cloud. Yeah, because I thought that was Galactus at the no. end of uh, Eternals. That's the first thing I thought of, but I didn't even know it was Galactus or whatever. Well, he's like a main Fantastic Four villain kind of. Yeah. And I don't know when that when Eternals went into production because obviously now 
Disney has the rights to the Fantastic Four because of the Fox buyout or whatever. Yeah, man. But I don't. I doubt they would be like, "Hey, yo, let's just throw in Galactus right now." But you oh, know, but I I do love that the the world is infinitely connected, but they still just want to make movies. Yeah. They don't want to lose the connection, obviously. So it's like, why didn't you guys like help out when the the other dude was here? And they're like, "Ah, oh, the, the other guy told us not to." Why are you doing stuff now? Uh, because we're making a bar movie now. <laughs> uh, he told us. He told us. He told us not to yeah. to do the things. Yeah. So we didn't. We didn't do the stuff. You know, I'm sure it'll be fine. So what's their whole deal? You know, you know all the comic booky stuff. Uh, they're fucking. They're here to protect humanity. Like, like, there's so many Marvel characters that are just we're here to protect humanity. We've been here forever. We watch you grow up. Also, we fight the deviants. Technically, in the comics, Thanos was a deviant. But based on the trailer, they just look like weird, gooey monsters. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They just look like little weird kaijus. Yeah. The, uh, not, because obviously I haven't seen the full movie or whatever, but the design of the Deviants is a little bit disappointing. They all look like shit Superman. (laughs) That's all I thought. They're all just there floating, laser eyes. And I was like, you all just look like Superman, but you're not Henry Cavill. So you just look shit. Well, like in the comics, they all like have a specific power that's like they all have like generic kind of powers yeah but then they have like one that's their speciality and it's still kind of unclear if they're going to like actually lean into that i surprised the angelina jolie yeah that was a that was a weird i thought she was like retired and like turned into like the crazy old cat lady or something yeah. whatever like you do in hollywood past 50 yeah i don't know but uh i'm sure it'll be fine yeah, i'm glad to see it. i like as an yeah. I, I i do very much enjoy angelina yeah. jolie as an actor yeah on to, on to the next one yeah. Oh, I just had, like, one final note what? on the movie. What's up? Uh, the Eternals was created, uh, or co-created by uh, Jack Kirby, who's, like, a big, big uh, deal in, in early Marvel comic books. He essentially, like, drew and, like, created the design for a lot of iconic characters. Be it you're the Hulks, be it you're the X-Men, yeah. be it you're... Did you do Spider-Man? I think that might have been Steve. X-Men. That was Steve Ditko. But, like, his characters are, like, when he did, like, his weird space shit, he did, yeah. like, Doctor Strange, and it was, like, super colorful and fun looking. Yeah. And just, like, kind of Thor Ragnarok, but if Thor Ragnarok was on acid, like, <laughs> like and not as, like, oh, we're awkward funny or whatever. That's a statement. Um, Yeah. And this movie looks like they're going in a different direction, which I'm sure is fine. Yeah. They'll do what they want. I'm just a little bummed out because I'm a fan of, like, Comic book movies that look fucking insane. Yeah. I mean, obviously. Yep. Suits the medium. Yeah. (laughs) Comic books are insane. But then again, I can just read the comic. Yeah. Like, the movie existing and being different doesn't mean I I can't read the comic anymore. True. So. But movie's pretty good. Yeah. You like the movies to be good about the things you like. Well, hopefully, uh, when I make movies... I'll be able to make the fun, colorful movies I want to. Then someone's going to have to sit you down. (laughs) Like they did old Chrissy. <laughs> and fucking tell him how it is. Just desaturate the image. Exactly. <laughs> and it turns just a little down. slider. That's just, of the whole movie. Yeah, and it's just like, that's just your sanity. Slowly depleting. As they're just like... Every, they, see, it doesn't seem like much at first. For, at the first day, it's only like, they just lower the contrast by like one. They just keep lowering it they every just, day. They just, they just desaturate yeah. a little bit more every day. And by the time you get to like the end of the movie, you didn't even notice. Yeah. No, you're like, hey, it looks a little bit gray today. Yeah, it's already gone to print. Oh. It's already gone to print. Kay. We made some edits. What? We made some edits. Type of... It's gone to print. Ed- Could I see We them? recast it. I'm sorry, what? We actually reshot it. Is it. You know your script? Yeah. Yeah, we scrapped that. <laughs> oh. Do... You, li- you like Marvel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah they're, they're cool. Yeah, you know that strong independent character you had. Yeah. Yeah, that's gone. Oh, it's gone. Okay. We're making, okay. We're making a new Captain America. Captain America Five. The captaining. But I wasn't making a Captain America. Here's your check movie. for ten million dollars. All right. Guess I'll go make uh, <laughs> something in the meantime. <laughs> All right. Go do a business. Cool. All right. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. It's like you know when musicians sample something and then completely change the entirety of it. Yep. That's just how they take they take your idea. <laughs> They're like, I like the concept of this. I'm going to change it entirely. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> we'll keep going. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's right, bro. It's hot. It's fucking hot in here. It is hot in here. Going to read that one? Uh, Two million for a copy of Superman. <laughs> yep. 
uh, it's false. It's true. It's true. It's true. Fuck. Which one? Like six, Super Mario sixty four. The OG. The OG the Super OG? Mario Bros. What even is on the OG first on the one? NES? The NES. Yeah. The I Nintendo Entertainment System. That's in black and white, isn't it? No, that was just because TVs were in black and white. It has color. There's like five of them. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It's like the old. I think I've seen speedruns of the OG Mario. Yeah. So kind of terrifying. Um, you know. I seen this and I was like, oh, we talk about this every other week. But uh, yeah. An insane amount of money yeah. for a thing I can get for 15 quid. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? I, I'm genuinely convinced this is just, this is just entirely people like whitewashing their money. Why are you, why are you, not whitewashing, why are you surprised every word. week? I'm not surprised every laundering. week. Laundering. Laundering. Uh, because in Spanish it's blanquear, which is to, wa- to whiten. Because you're like clean, like you're, you know, making it. Clean. Spanish language being integrally racist. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? <laughs> Who would have th- thunk the colonizers would have? Uh... <laughs> What's that color you have, guys? It's definitely not white. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Spanish uh, culture aside, I just seen it and I was like, "Fucking hell, man!" Like, why? Why? Why spend? Why? You've got money to burn. Because fucking whatever Jimmy fucking made his money selling an internet company that like makes a frog ribbit or something when you press a button. That's really popular with five year olds. Really enjoyed Super Mario Bros. when he was younger. And he, he was able to buy it. So that's what he did. Sure, yeah. It's definitely laundering money. <laughs> Has to be. Or like artificially inflating the value of these things so that private co- companies he, he can is, like he, sell shit for an insane amount of money. Super Mario Bros. copies. <laughs> He's just selling them back. <laughs> he got them on, he on the cheap. He buys one every once in a while to keep this boost up the yeah. market. Probably. I don't know. Yeah. This is this is the low point of the episode. <laughs> I'm actually just dying of like heat exhaustion here. Well, we're is. coming up to to sixty minutes. 60, and that's sixty. Generally, around where we cut it off. Yeah, Gen- generally. Generally, uh, they they put uh, oh, I'm actually getting blinder every week. Mm-hmm. Kazuma Kirio in Super Don- Super, Super Mon- Mario Ball. Yeah. Super Monkey Ball. Super Monkey Ball. Super Monkey Ball. Super Monkey Ball. You know, What's you haven't Super played Monkey? Super Monkey Ball. No, I haven't played Super Monkey. It's Ball. It's like a bunch of uh, mini games, and you're a monkey in a ball, and you know, you got to complete them, and it's like a fun multiplayer thing. And they put the guy from uh, Yakuza instead of the monkey. You got you play as the Yakuza guy. What's the Yakuza guy? You know, you know the video game Yakuza. No. And its sequels, where you're like a member of the Yakuza. Really. Yeah, that's what <laughs> that's what the game's about. This is fake. Whatever this is, this is fake. No, nah, this is real. This is okay. It's, it's real. Fake. It's fake in my mind. Well, I don't know. Look at you not knowing video games. What a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bond movie can't be delayed. You know our favorite movie of all time. Bond's got no time to. D- oh my god, you're dying. <laughs> you're like a bottle of a man. I think I'm wearing like a jumper here. You are. Why? I don't know. <laughs> you want to take it off? No, I got it. I got it. Just, just dip out. 